What's up queezers? So today's video, we are in the kitchen and that can only mean one thing. We're baking. Cost roller, cost, cost gun, cost, yeah. This is kind of like a random idea just because um, my laptop's decided to die on me. But anyway, we will be following in Mary Berry Victoria sponge recipe. Let's just get crack a lacking. Just want to say, Kathy, this isn't a very Corona friendly recipe just because you do need quite a lot of eggs. And then in this day and age, these hoes are like gold dust. These are tiny eggs, by the way, like that. Small. That is so much better. Oh, Cleo, the Walter. Hello. That's a lot. I'm actually going to put a little bit less in just because we stand skinny legend. Chuck that in. Basically, a Victoria sponge just feels really easy because for all of the like ingredients, you use the same amount. I remember them talking about that on Bake Off. Right, there we go. That is beautiful. The only utensil I have is a tiny teaspoon, so I'm just going to make it work. Next, I've put grease paper in the bottom of two tins. So now we're just going to put the mixture in two of them. I've put the mixture in the tins. I, it looks pretty really fluffy, so I'm just going to put them in the oven. I'm going to put them on the same rack just so they bake at the same time. And there we go. I actually don't know how long we need to bake them for. Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes? Starting then. I just going to indulge in this. Right, can I just say one thing? If you say you never looked a bowl, you are lying. I never mixed the bowl. Second of all, people say you shouldn't lick a bowl because you might get salmonella, but I've been licking the bowl for my whole 16 years of life and I've never once had any yuki spooky salmonella. Like, I'm still alive and kicking, so. Props to Mary Berry because now the only thing I have to wash up is this bowl. So, like, the all in one method goes off. But I'm going to work, work, work every day. I've got mouths. I got a food. I'm going to make sure everybody. Well, I just want to say, I think I about done, outdid myself. Overbaked, but I mean that never hurt anyone, you know. It's better to be a little bit over and a little bit under, so that's okay. Maybe I could have taken them out a couple of minutes sooner, but honestly, they're okay. I need to let them cool for a bit, so I'm gonna let them cool as they are. The cream. Next step is one which you know I'm not really looking forward to. I do get a little bit tired out. And that is making the cream layer. It involves me whisking cream until it's like hard for like a solid 10 minutes. So it was a cheap little arm day. Girls gotta do what girls gotta do, am I right ladies? I don't actually know how much cream I need to do because um, it doesn't tell you on the recipe. So I'm just gonna make an estimate. Now I've got to do the most, you know, possibly the most important bit. I'm not saying anything, but like, I'm saying something. So this is like fully whipped, kind of proud, got those, got those gains going. So we're going to assemble now, ladies and gents. We have our base cake. This is, by the way, I'm not making my own jam because I'm lazy. We have some strawberry jam here. It's a bit hard. This is literally like the most bog standard Tesco jam I could find. So, you know, we really are pushing out the boat here, you know. My bicep hurts. Like, I just got swole AF. Right, I don't know how much to do because I like a lot of jam and I like there to be quite thick layers. I'm gonna go as like 
close the edges as I can just because it looks better when you sandwich it all together. There we have a nice little jab, if I do say so myself. I am going to go ahead and slap this cream onto the base of this cake and just plonk it on top. Oh my god, this looks like glorious. Now is the like life or death part, the bit that could like ruin this entire operation. And plonk. Oh my god! Oh no! There we are, ladies and gents. I am here to present to you this masterpiece. I think I pushed the boat out. I mean, apart from... Oh, god, go away! <laughs> Hello, yeah, ladies and gents. Uh, yeah. Apart from this little mishap, I think overall, we'll just look at this. <laughs> exit, exit. <laughs> Shoo! So here is the finished. So yeah, just like call me the next Mary Berry. You know that title is deserving. I think. Um. Yeah! Now the most important part, and that is if it tastes good okay i've made myself a cup of tea and we have a slice here which i ended up having actually quite a thick i thought i'd make myself tea just to add to the all more british image my camera battery decided to die look at this on the look at this on the outro already it's like i knew this was gonna happen Can I marry a cake? Get you a boo that tastes this good? You can't. Oh my goodness, I'm so impressed. I'm not gonna lie to you, the sponges are a little bit too thick, but like nobody is complaining about that. Oh my goodness, hold on, let me have a private moment. Woo! If you want a good ass cake, follow the recipe, I'll put the link in the description. If you liked the video, Give it a thumbs up because that'll make me smile. And subscribe to watch my little face moving about every now and then. Peace out, quizzes. Birdie bent it over for baby. She's selling. I'm a state banana split. I roll a split. I garbage it. You touch my shit.